In the 21st century, geopolitical power is increasingly defined by technological prowess. At the heart of this new arms race lies a tiny component, the semiconductor. These silicon chips powering everything from smartphones to supercomputers have become the lifeblood of the global economy. Control over their production translates into a strategic advantage, enabling nations to shape the future of technology and, by extension, the world. The United States, long a champion of free trade, has recognized the criticality of this sector. It has adopted a more assertive stance to maintain its technological edge, particularly vis-a-vis -vis China. This strategic competition has brought a Dutch company, ASML Holding, to the forefront of global attention. ASML, a previously obscure name outside the tech world, holds a virtual monopoly on the production of extreme ultraviolet lithography EUV machines. These machines are essential for manufacturing the most advanced semiconductors, the kind that power artificial intelligence, 5G networks, and next-generation computing. The company's unique position has made it a pawn in a high-stakes game of technological one-upmanship. The U.S., recognizing ASML's pivotal role, has actively sought to leverage its relationship with the Netherlands to curb China's technological ambitions. This strategic maneuver has far-reaching implications for the global balance of power. It underscores the intensifying rivalry between the U.S. and China, a rivalry increasingly playing out in the technological sphere. The semiconductor industry, once a symbol of global collaboration, has become a battleground for dominance. This struggle has forced nations to choose sides, potentially fracturing the global technology landscape. The outcome of this high-stakes game will determine not only the future of technology, but also the shape of the international order. This is a story of technological innovation, geopolitical maneuvering, and economic warfare. It is a story about the future of power in a world increasingly defined by silicon. ASML's rise to prominence is a testament to the power of specialization and relentless innovation. The company headquartered in Veldhoven, Netherlands, has spent decades perfecting a technology that is as complex as it is critical. EUV lithography, ASML's crown jewel, is a marvel of modern engineering. It uses ultraviolet light with an extremely short wavelength to etch incredibly intricate patterns on silicon wafers. These patterns form the circuits of microchips, with billions of transistors packed onto a surface smaller than a fingernail. The precision required for this process is mind-boggling. To put it into perspective, EUV lithography is akin to shooting a golf ball from New York and hitting a specific blade of grass in Los Angeles. ASML's machines, each costing upwards of $150 million, are the only ones capable of achieving this level of accuracy. They are the product of decades of research and development involving close collaboration with leading technology companies and research institutions worldwide. ASML's success is also a testament to the power of a collaborative ecosystem where innovation thrives on shared knowledge and expertise. The company's dominance in EUV lithography has made it an indispensable partner for the world's leading chip makers. Companies like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, Samsung, and Intel rely on ASML's machines to produce the most advanced chips powering our digital world. This technological dependence has given ASML an outsized influence in the global semiconductor industry. Its machines are not merely tools, they are strategic assets, coveted by nations striving for technological supremacy. The U.S. recognizing this reality has moved swiftly to secure its access to ASML's technology while simultaneously trying to limit China's. This strategic maneuvering has thrust ASML into the center of a geopolitical storm. The company, once content with its niche role in the global supply chain, now finds itself caught in the crosshairs of a superpower rivalry. Its fate and the future of the semiconductor industry hangs in the balance as the U.S. and China vie for technological dominance. The U.S., under successive administrations, has recognized the strategic importance of semiconductors. The Trump administration, in particular, sounded the alarm on China's growing technological prowess. It identified China's Made in China 2025 plan, which aims to make China a self-sufficient tech superpower, as a direct threat to U.S. economic and national security. This concern was bipartisan, with the Biden administration continuing and even escalating the pressure on China's tech sector. The focus on semiconductors was not arbitrary. These tiny chips are the building blocks of the digital economy, 
powering everything from smartphones and laptops to artificial intelligence and military hardware. Control over their production is tantamount to controlling the commanding heights of the 21st century economy. The U.S., while still a leader in chip design, has seen its manufacturing capacity erode over the years. Much of the world's chip manufacturing now takes place in Asia, with Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung emerging as industry leaders. This dependence on Asian manufacturing has raised concerns in Washington about supply chain vulnerabilities, particularly in the event of a geopolitical crisis. To counter China's rise and secure its own technological future, the U.S. has adopted a multi-pronged strategy. Domestically, it has ramped up investment in semiconductor research and manufacturing, providing billions of dollars in subsidies to attract chip makers to build factories on American soil. Internationally, it has sought to strengthen alliances with key partners like Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, forming a Chip 4 alliance to coordinate policy and research. However, the most consequential move has been the pressure exerted on the Netherlands to block ASML from selling its most advanced EUV lithography machines to China. This diplomatic offensive has put the Dutch government in a difficult position. The Netherlands, a small country with a tradition of open trade, has found itself caught between its largest trading partner, China, and its long-standing security ally, the U.S. The decision to side with the U.S. was not taken lightly. It reflected a growing recognition in Europe and elsewhere that China's technological ambitions pose a challenge to the existing global order. Section 4. Choking China's Chip Ambitions, a High-Tech Embargo the U.S. campaign to curtail China's access to advanced chip-making technology has had a significant impact. The restrictions imposed on ASML, while not a complete embargo, have effectively prevented Chinese companies from acquiring the most advanced EUV lithography machines. These machines, essential for producing the most powerful and efficient chips, are crucial for China's ambitions to become a leader in artificial intelligence, 5G, and other cutting-edge technologies. The denial of this technology has slowed down China's progress, forcing its companies to rely on older, less efficient chip-making equipment. This technological bottleneck has far-reaching consequences for China's economic and strategic ambitions. China is the world's largest importer of semiconductors, relying heavily on foreign companies for its chip supply. The U.S. restrictions have exposed this dependence as a strategic vulnerability. Chinese companies cut off from the most advanced chip-making tools, are struggling to keep pace with their global competitors. This is particularly problematic in sectors like artificial intelligence where China has set its sights on becoming a global leader. The impact is not limited to the tech sector. Semiconductors are now ubiquitous, found in everything from cars and airplanes to refrigerators and washing machines. The shortage of advanced chips has ripple effects throughout the Chinese economy, disrupting supply chains and slowing down innovation. The Chinese government, acutely aware of this vulnerability, has responded with a sense of urgency. It has poured billions of dollars into its domestic semiconductor industry, hoping to foster homegrown champions capable of challenging the global dominance of companies like TSMC and Samsung. However, building a globally competitive semiconductor industry is a daunting task. It requires massive investment, cutting-edge research and development, and a skilled workforce. Moreover, the industry is highly globalized with companies relying on complex supply chains that span multiple continents. Replicating this ecosystem domestically will be a long and arduous process for China, fraught with challenges and setbacks. Section 5. Dragon's Dilemma – Innovation Under Siege The U.S. tech restrictions have presented China with a dilemma. On the one hand, they have exposed the vulnerabilities of relying on foreign technology and the need for greater self-sufficiency. On the other hand, they have highlighted the difficulties of catching up in a sector where the U.S. and its allies still hold a significant lead. China's response has been a mix of defiance and pragmatism. The government has vowed to accelerate its indigenous innovation efforts, pouring resources into research and development and providing generous subsidies to domestic chip makers. There is a recognition that closing the technology gap will require more than just money. It will require a concerted effort to cultivate a culture of innovation, attract top talent, and build a robust intellectual property regime. China has made strides in these areas, but significant challenges remain. The country's education system, while improving, still lags behind in producing world-class scientists and engineers. The business environment, while more market-oriented than in the past, 
is still hampered by bureaucracy and state intervention. Moreover, the U.S. restrictions have had a chilling effect on foreign investment in China's tech sector. Many international companies, wary of getting caught in the crossfire of the U.S.-China tech war, are hesitant to invest in Chinese companies or partner with them on sensitive technologies. This has made it more difficult for Chinese companies to access the capital, expertise, and markets they need to compete globally. China's dilemma is not unique. Many countries, particularly those in the developing world, are grappling with similar challenges as they try to navigate the increasingly complex and competitive landscape of global technology. The U.S. actions have served as a wake-up call, highlighting the strategic importance of technological self-reliance. However, achieving this goal will require more than just government fiat. It will require a fundamental shift in mindset, a willingness to embrace risk-taking and innovation, and a commitment to creating an environment where talent can thrive. The outcome of this struggle will have far-reaching consequences not just for China, but for the future of the global technology landscape.